Remember in 2012 when we used to drink beer? That was a long time ago. That was a long time. That was last we, year. We drank beer in 2000. We did. Really? And <laughs> we're going to continue that for 2013. Oh, well, why, why stop a good thing? Why you're on a roll. No, why stop? And actually, coincidentally, uh, I've just realized that the first couple beers that we're going to try for the new year, besides the wonderful sours that we just had. That's right. These uh, next two for this week, they're they're both IPAs. Oh, wow. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. So that's we kind of... A new, a new uh, style for us again. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> going into a foreign territory here. Accidental Uncharted. theme week. Okay, that's kind of what we have going here for uh, this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com. And the beverage we are about today is, uh, well, from one that we've had success with, Shipyard. Yes, actually. Um, and, uh, in fact, they were our reigning pumpkin beer champion. They are. That. The, uh, what was it? Pugsley's. Pugsley, yeah, falls under Shipyard, KBC, which does, they do, we sell beers at Trader Joe's under that. So there's quite a bit of labels under that particular uh uh, brewery, but uh, so this is a shipyard uh, monkey fist IPA. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm glad there's not like an ED or an ING at the end <laughs> yeah. of that. That would have been real painful. <laughs> I don't want to do. Yeah, I would not have picked I this up. Know what that is? But actually, uh, I did a little bit of reading, and do you know what actually a monkey fist is? I well, besides the joke, <laughs> outside of the actual or the, an actual monkey making a fist. Yeah. No, I don't. It's actually a, a knot at the. It's like that the. the that shipmen, that oh. boat, boatmen use. And nice. it's like, they use it for, it's at the end of, I guess it's usually at the end of the rope and they use it for like weighting things down. So it's probably like this big, just So maybe they're saying this is like going to be heavy. Is that what they're could implying? Be. Or they're yeah. just maybe using no, that it totally nautical could be. type terms. So. Uh, I'm sure it's a little We're both since, out. you know, they are shipyards, so they could be uh, going for that. But I thought, that was, fist. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Okay. I, like that. <laughs> I don't know how they come up with names for this kind of stuff though. There's a lot of great terms and words out there that, they actually have history to them. And, yeah. And uh, it's always fun to discover them, such as we have today. With the, Even if we don't enjoy the beer for whatever reason. We've learned something. At least something. we know what a monkey fist is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. Things I can take not, to my grave. Not to be monkey fisted. I know what a monkey fist is. Yeah. And not to have it done to me. Well, not clear, but not cloudy either. Orange. See, now mine's pretty cloudy. Oh, see. Well, that happened again. Is and it? mine's not. Are they the I same and we're just uh, different interpretations of the same coin? Or? I think yours looks darker. Okay. I think yours is darker. But nice. But uh, that kind of nice. Orangey, yellow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very much exactly like an orange. It's an orange color. <laughs> is that one of the few fruits that actually uh, is uh, not only its color, but its namesake? Can't think of any others. I don't think there are any. Yeah. I mean, blackberry. Mm. Even those aren't really, when you squeeze the juice, it's not black juice. It's no. It's a dark red uh, or purple. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking that. Yes. Yeah. Like orange. <laughs> what color is that? Orange. What does it taste like? Orange. What yeah. is it? Or like that's. Yeah, I had some like reds the other day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did? You did. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I had some greens. Wait. No, no. Now we're talking about baseball in the 70s and 80s, I think. <laughs> yeah. Some greenies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They didn't keep them out of. The Hall of Fame, but they will keep out the well, guys Rich suspected the other day. I heard Rich guys Gossett suspected of steroids. That's that's interesting. Uh, he says though, that's not even. There's nothing. No, you can't even. Rich Gossett, Goose Gossett says, "Hey, the goose you can't even. That's apples and oranges right there. You can't even. I, I just heard it. Yeah, and oranges <laughs> comes back to oranges. There you go. That can't even compare. So that's what he says. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that. That's just devil's advocate. I find that an interesting argument because yeah. it's like you know, anything right. that's giving you any kind of advantage. To keep you up, he's like, oh, I just to keep I you up, to, you know, keep you... to keep me awake in those, you know, in the bullpen sometimes. Those know. cold winter nights, but it didn't help me. It didn't make me any better. If it's keeping you awake so that you're not tired I... when you go out, and yeah. you're stimulated. Yeah, I just listened. I'm just saying. I think I just listened. Know. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to argue I think, with him. Yeah, no, I would not want to argue with no. Goose Gossage no. either. No, no with the goose. his mustache should take you down. I know, just, just, just a mustache alone. <laughs> See, now this is an East Coast brewery. Yes. So you definitely, because I, I was thinking when I, before I sniffed this, I was just picturing all kinds of different things than what's actually in there because I was thinking more West Coast right. IPA, which is what I'm more familiar with. We've had these before. In fact, I've had the KBC IPA, which once again is made by this, them. Um, and it definitely, it, to me, there's a little malt. I, I get the malt more than hop. Yeah, I uh, I get the not, not that it's malty, but I get a malt. No, but I definitely get kind of that 
it, it usually the East Coast is more of that English style hop yeah. kind of variety that what you know more of the not quite a noble hop but you know usually there's something like that going on there where sometimes yeah. a little bit of a little wet funk yeah. kind of going on in there and I think it's maybe a little more of the malt kind of blending in there but I also get a little hint of apricot or some sort of there's a nice little citrus in there too I think it's a nice balance my first sniff I got the uh, the you know we describe as onion ring sure that sort of fried yeah. kind of which we still have to find out what that is. I think that onion ring's that. pretty good. Yeah, well, no, but I mean, that's got to be associated with... <laughs> oh, right. I would think a specific malt or a specific hop or some sort of specific chemical reaction, but anyway, okay. I know it's only 6.9, but for some reason, it, I taste a little bit of the alcohol in there, at least on the the after. The retro nasal. Is there's some, Yeah, there's a little something there on the end yeah. that kind of that kind of breaks out. It's it's just very uh, thin, a little bitter. It's got um, the bitter, yeah. Uh, there, there's some nice flavors kind of there at the finish, but really yeah. what the what is left mostly is just kind of a bitter. Yeah. I think you kind of hit taste. it when you said it's more of an English style sort of yeah, beer. Yeah, very much. Um, yeah. And I and and actually now that we're, you're saying that, I remember reading about the the brewmaster there is or did at least okay. Uh, you know, have a, a, at least his beginnings in England. Uh, so that would that would make. That would make sense. I don't mind this style. It's not my favorite style of No, IPA. there's a little light fruit in there. I was a little yeah. selling it a little bit short when I said it was kind of on the emptier side. There's a little bit of light fruit, but then it's gone. This would probably be good, you know, summertime kind of beer, just kind of nice, refreshing. I would not be upset if this is something that I have, no. but I, I, no. I probably won't be reaching for this one again, and, and more because of that style. Yeah. But if that's something that you're into more that English, you know, kind of European style, you know, hopping, this definitely not I think like yeah, not not a hop monster, not right. not citrusy or piney or you know any of that kind of stuff. It's just there's a there's a nice little you know sour slash bitter to it, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, a little bit of fruit th- on on the thinner side, but yeah, nothing nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, definitely definitely could be enjoyable if that's your style. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, head on over to the uh, website at aboutbeverages.com and check out the tasting notes for this Monkey Fist <laughs> IPA from Shipyard Brewing. I'll, I'm going to enjoy it at least. Or just drop a knot right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what can I make for that the, knot look like? <laughs> a monkey's fist. <laughs> a monkey's fist. I don't know. Maybe that's why they called it that. Yeah. And uh, while you're there, definitely uh, check out tasting notes for all the things that we did uh, over the last several years now. We've got lots of different stuff we're on We're in there. our fifth year. I know. Oh my gosh! I know. Our fifth year completed four and starting number five. Starting number number five. We're starting kindergarten. We're we're, kid, we're, uh, we're of kindergarten age this year. Those are five oh. good reasons. Yeah, those are good reasons. <laughs> that was what I was thinking. When I thought of the fist. Then One, thought, two, yeah. two, three, four, yeah. four five. five. <laughs> those are good reasons. That's a Lucy fist. <laughs> that is a Lucy fist. <laughs> what is not a Lucy fist is uh, untapped which is one of the many places you can uh, find. I don't know that transition well, but who cares? Sometimes uh, we, we grab for whatever we can. <laughs> right. We grab it with our monkey fist <laughs> and we right. hold on tight. <laughs> uh, but you can find us on there as well, uh, what we're uh, having and uh, and uh, tasting. And then obviously the drink database is also where we're always updating uh, things that we're having throughout the week. And uh, get, as amazing as it is, we do have other things besides beer. Yes. Uh, enjoy wine quite a bit. Uh, I was having uh, some other new things lately that we'll be talking about. So I had a Fentiman's n- Cola the other day. Oh, nice. How was that? Good. Always good. Have you yeah. had the cherry cola from Fentiman's? I did. It's it's very. It's kind of like uh, an uh, an icy. Yeah, you know, that's it is. Of, yeah. Oh, you, so you had. Uh, I have yeah. had. Yeah, I yeah. got one of those when uh, cost when cost plus World Market was doing Moved. a a move. They had some things discounted, so I grabbed some different yeah. Fentiman's things and. I tell you, if I was a rich man, that'd be my soda. Yeah, if that's one of those things. Like you know, you like can spend co- it's a little cost per two dollars on nine ounces. Yeah, if yeah, if I was a much richer man, that would be my go-to soda. That is quite delicious. It is very good. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs>